And we were talking about like hardware and the technology side of it. What I'm interested to know now, if we flip it around, is in terms of understanding the ultimate audio experience in audio branding. At least, like there's so many brands that are now working on designing uh, audio experiences, but then also they need to understand then how to produce it to fit in the hardware. So what are your predictions and advice on how brands can start thinking on using binaural sound in their audio design process and then in their audio asset touch points? I think, like we talked about before also, it's this sense of movement, this spatial aspect that has been forgotten and you can really do a lot with that. It's, it's a different dimension to your communication of your brand. So instead of just Think about like, does it sound right? Also think about you know the movement aspect. You you might not want to create possibly a, a completely binaural thing that's just like a lot of 3D sound, but you could. But but I'm thinking also there are subtle things where you have a some kind of sound asset and you have certain elements of that you know being put into motion, and that can create pretty interesting effects that I think you can. You know, get very strong associations with. Like, if you think about the the Nike swoosh, right, and that thing, that has some kind of movement in it. If you will also do that spatially, then talk about reinforcement, right? So mm -hmm. I think just with tiny examples like that. And and again, it's not so complicated. There are lots of plugins available for music production software that can do this kind of panning of sounds in 3D relatively, I think, good enough for this purpose to create that sense of movement. That can be pretty powerful. Yeah, get the consumer to move with the visual, uh, get the consumer to nudge them towards something. Exactly, exactly. Uh, <laughs> this is where you should go, and then you have this movement of the sound in that direction. And then also the creation of storytelling becomes sure. enormously stronger. Yes. Wow. You, you, you're, you're in a way, I think, uh, you know, engaging with more senses in, in, in our brains, right, by adding this movement to it, and then it becomes more powerful, and more reinforcing. And the perfect thing with this is that it needs to be done from the beginning and nothing like yep. it's been going on for so many years that it's added in the end. You really have to think about it in the storytelling, in the design strategy process, in the beginning of what is it you want the, the communication and the message yeah. to, to be. Yeah, I love that, if that could mm -hmm. <laughs> also change it.